Dear students, I welcome you all to this video session for knowing your subject. My name is Anwar and I am from the Department of Computer Science. And let me break down the whole syllabus into unit wise so that you can understand better. So let's focus on. Starting with, we learn the subject name as mobile computing and the subject code is 19UCSE07 since it belongs to elective. Mobile computing has the following subcategories wherein we are going to introduce what mobile computing is, and the areas which is applied. We are going to discuss about a very simple reference model which is building up the whole computing process. We are going to talk about the radio frequencies that we are going to utilize here. We are going to talk about signals. We are going to discuss about antennas. We are going to discuss about signal propagations, multiplexing and the modulation for every signal, the spectrum spectrum that we are going to use here. And finally, we are going to discuss about cellular system. To start with, we are introducing what mobile computing is. Most of the people confuse mobile computing is something that is done in a mobile, wherein the real term is computation is done on the mobile basis, which is on the move. So whenever you are moving or whenever the gadgets or whenever the devices are moving, so you are able to do any kind of process or calculation on the move. So by transmitting data like audio, video, and which are not connected to any devices through physical medium is called as mobile computing. And the areas that are applied include vehicles. So smart vehicles are introduced nowadays so that they can communicate with other vehicles for better traffic. We are talking about emergencies here. It might be natural calamities, national emergencies, medical, all these areas require higher attention. So our mobile computing has helped us in a very vast area. Then we are going to talk about business. Business is something that which involves monetary, which involves the whole nation and for the development of it. And finally, we are going to replace our wired networks. Wired networks always had an havoc. And now we are using wireless technology to replace all these. We are going to discuss here about the simplified reference model. So it consists of five layers. So put together, these layers are going to work for the computing process. We are going to talk about the radio transmission here. So as you can see, the scale is spread with gamma rays, X-rays, the visible light, the radio wave and the microwave. So all these are used in their own capabilitical way. So we are going to use about this in our next concept. The next concept is signals. So all the area, all the frequencies that are converted into signals are used for wireless communication. So wireless involves two types of signals. It might be analog as well as digital. So based upon the type of data that you are going to transmit, signals may vary. We are going to talk about antennas here. So as you can see at the picture, there are n number of types of antennas and for its specific purpose, it is designed to transmit data from one point to another. So to talk about the technical term, it's an isotopic radiator, so which can uh, spread the signals in all directions. Signal propagation, it is something that how a signal moves from one place to another in vacuum as well as in all the areas of the environment. As you can see at the picture, so how our signal gets scattered and how it gets its way finding it to the other devices. So we are going to talk about propagation types uh, and their resolutions for all those things that we are going to talk about in a signal. Finally, here we are going to talk about multiplexing. Multiplexing is nothing but many into one or many into very concept. Here multiplexing is used for the signal frequencies so which can be used in a medium for no interference which means that a signal has to travel from one place to another without any kind of disturbance. So for this we use a multiplexing concept. So it has types so which has space divisioning, frequency divisioning, time divisioning and as well as code divisioning. We are talking about the modulation here. So how a signal is converted into a signal which is carried away through air from one place to another. So the process of converting data into radio waves and making them to move from one place to another is called modulation. So we have types like amplitude, frequency and phase. And these characteristics are modulated well enough so that it can carry our data. 
we have spec spectrum it is a technique where the frequency is transmitted signal generates more bandwidth so that our data accommodates and while accommodating the frequency gets carried from one place to another cellular system the last concept is cellular system so as you can see at the picture each area is divided into a cell and each cell has its own covering area where it has an antenna so this antenna is responsible for transmitting data so we are living in the age of cellular system with that i complete the session and thank you all for participating in this let's join in our regular class session and look at this in a very elaborated way thank you all